Hey guys, this is Gorax. Today I present you part one of the beginner's uh, guide. Part one will be for the free to play players, part two will be for VIP free to VIP seven players, and part three will be for all the VIP level eight and above. The most important thing of one being free to play player is you want to hoard your diamonds. You want to keep them and you want to spend the less amount possible. You want to obtain as much as possible and the way to obtain them will be shown later in the video. What you need to remember is you will not be the best in PvP content. However, you can contest the PvE content even as a free to play player. You can beat all these whales. How to do it you ask? Well, you need to focus on easily obtainable units, max out all the PvE heroes and be the most eff efficient in a PvE content. My goal in this guide is to show you guys that it is possible and my account on EU63 is a proof of it. As you can see in the leaderboards, I'm 61 when it comes to the power. In the crypt I'm rank 31 but I will get only stronger once I uh, upgrade my units. And in Dwarven Treasury I'm rank 18. So let's start with the heroes you should be focusing on. So the first few levels you'll unlock uh, Catherine. She is not the greatest hero, however she will uh, help you progress through the campaigns level. You shouldn't be investing much into her spells, she'll need the scrolls for later heroes as you can see. All of my spells are level 11. That's where I stopped investing in Kathleen, Catherine. The next hero you'll unlock is Rashka, and this hero will be your main hero until level 56 when you'll get Solmer. As you can see, I'm still investing in Rashka, although I, ch I switched to uh, Solmer for the time being. I'll get back to Rashka when my power is higher. So you want to get Rashka to 4 stars, and it's very easy to get it done. You can get plenty of Rashka shards from Duel of the Champions and it only costs you 30,000 points. You'll probably be able to buy uh, 3 or 4 times a week. The hero I'm using currently is Solmer. You will be able to unlock him once you get to level 56 and you finish the campaign. Uh, once, once you unlock him you'll need to use Universal shards to level him up and getting him to 3 star is really important. This is where he shines, I already explained that in one of my videos. Solmer is very useful in all PvE content as well as a very strong hero in PvP. And he goes well with any faction units you'll be using. The third hero you should be focusing on is Galu. Galu is a god in PvE content, you will be using him in Conflux Plains, Dragon Invasion, basically everywhere. He's also very easy to max out, you can get his shots from the uh, Duel of the Champions shop, so if you decide not going with Rashka, you want to go with Solmer, you don't need to max out Rashka, you can focus on Galu from the get-go. Other heroes that are worth mentioning are Yogg, you'll need him in uh, some of the Trial of the Angels levels, where you can only pass him with Yogg. Um, you can obtain him from the guild shop. You also want Adelaide for Trial of the Angels as well. And Jedi. Jedi is very strong in PvP. Later in the game, you'll want Mully. Mully is great in uh, Sage Defense uh, during the Stead Week. And lastly, Luna. She is also required in some levels of Trial of the Angels since you won't have any paid heroes. So that concludes the heroes you should be focusing on. Now, let's now move to units. So Basically, as a free-to-play player, you want to focus on easily obtainable units, and they are Inferno units and Strawhall units. These two factions will make your uh, lineup very strong, and as you can see, I focus on uh, Inferno. So I've got maxed out Demon, Ifriti, Imp, Gog, Pitfin is almost finished, Devil from uh, SSR pool, you can get Devil from... Uh, Altar and this is the only SSI unit that is required and I don't run Hellhound but it's good to have him maxed out. Stronghold units that you should be focusing are Rock, Ogre and Cyclops. Cyclops can get quite tricky to get, you'll get them from uh, Guild Adventure. 
if you're lucky and you get behemoth he will be also quite useful you can uh, exchange him from for the imps so you can use him instead of the imps this is the basic formation that I'm using currently. If you have a behemoth, you can take the imps out and put the behemoth in the place. You can also move Pitfin down here to make a full tank line as she spawns a tank unit. Another unit worth mentioning are uh, Wood Elf. You'll need them for uh, PvE content. Pegasus, same. You'll need range units for PvE content as well as uh, Crypt. And Storm Elemental, which is a king in a crypt and quite useful during the dragon invasion. Uh, you also want uh, Phoenix, which are Firebird, which I don't have uh, unlocked yet. You will be able to unlock it using the Pantheon. He's quite useful in a crypt and Tower of the Angel as well as, well as some conflicts levels. Um, you also want Ice Elemental. She is useful in PvE content as well. Uh, don't forget to utilize barracks. You want to spend resources on the units you're using. As you can see, I'm using them on Inferno units. Artifacts are the main source of your power. And uh, you need to focus on only a couple of them. Because they will be quite expensive to upgrade. Especially, they cost quite a lot of... Um, uh, casting stones once you get them to a higher level. So the artifacts you should be focusing on are Elixir of Life. It's quite easily obtainable through campaign. Wizard Whale, the most important artifact. It boosts all your stats, also gives you mana regen and reduces enemy mana. You'll get them from campaign as well. Uh, you want to get Axe of Ferocity at the higher le highest level possible. It gives you a lot of hero stats and also unit health and attack. And you want to get Titan Thunder to level 2, it gives you 3 uh, damage spell, and at level 2 it costs you 0 mana. And you also want to unlock Dragon Father as quickly as possible, this is one of the strongest artifacts, it spawns you a dragon that will change your game. Now let's talk a little bit about resources. The main resource in the game is diamonds, you can obtain them for from purchasing but as a free to play player you obviously don't want to do that so there's a good way to obtain about 5000 uh, diamonds a week and you can find it in one of my videos that's gonna pop up in the top right corner for you so once you find out where to get the resources like diamonds let's talk about where to spend them so you'll be spending most of your resources in a marketplace. What you want to buy in a marketplace is always this unit for a gold. Doesn't matter what unit, what unit it is, you can always trade it in the guild. And you want to buy all these resources here. At the beginning of the game, you can spend the gold on silver keys. As you can see, I hold quite a lot of them. Uh, you also want to buy these spell scrolls during the first uh, 14 days. Uh, if you if you uh, want to do the 350 spending diamonds daily quest that gives you 100 experience, you can buy casting stone as well. You should be you should be buying casting stone every uh, two or three days, depending on how much diamonds you get daily. I tend to uh, set up a limit that I only spend as many diamonds daily as I gain from arena. Speaking of arena, the thing that you should be buying here first is getting rock to at least 5 star and then buying his uh, awakening stones uh, so you get you get to 70 as quickly as possible. Um, then let's go to the campaign. In campaign you should be buying Ifriti up until 5 or 6 star and then focusing on heaven cast stones to boost your artifact power. Um, in the artifacts, you should basically you not know, be buying anything until you unlock level 60 and can buy Dragon Father artifacts. However, as you can see, I'm still not buying them because I want to unlock a couple more pieces before I decide what buy with, buy with. Okay, then we go to the guild. So what you want to focus here is once you unlock guild level 9, you want to buy York. You want to unlock him because he'll be quite useful. Um, then also get... Mephala, Mulig, and Shiva to the free stars. You want to have the passive ab abilities available. Once you max out all these heroes to four star, 
you will want to buy spell scrolls and also your uh, rosters okay roster runes are important and you can check my video about uh, roster runes uh, later on in the guides section let's go to the champions as i said before you want to focus on rush kagelo and luna once you get all of them maxed out you want to buy universal hero tokens uh, in the plane uh, shop you want to buy ifriti soul stones uh, you'll you won't be having a lot of these at the beginning but you want to get ifriti and magogs then you want to focus on grand elves to boost your pve content in a kingdom if you win you want dragon steel you want this yellow uh, resource because you want to upgrade your pit fans and other units once you unlock phoenix this is where you'll be s this is the way you'll be upgrading him to six star if you don't win you want ogre mage soul stones you'll need 70 of them as well and as i mentioned before one way to unlock firebird without spending is uh, buying him at the uh, pantheon it's gonna take you quite a lot of time because you need to spend a uh, thousand vultures to get two shards so you need to spend 40,000 yeah, 40,000 uh, vouchers to get uh, Firebird unlocked. Another game resource and the most important one is energy. As a free-to-play player, you want to buy the extra 50 energy every day. Uh, the reason for that is because it's one of the best way to get the units, unit shots and also get some experience because you don't want to fall behind in experience too much. Uh, so where you should be spending your energy, you should be doing a 10 uh story modes every day to finish a daily quest and then the rest of your energy should be spent in a campaign in an underground where you can obtain various uh infernal units as you can see depending on the level uh, you can get different units and you should be focusing on the notes with the units you also get uh, some energy potions however i recommend saving them until there's an elite challenge event where you need to do 325 uh, underground levels this is where you spend it especially if this if it's inferno because you'll get the villa shards for it there is one place you should be avoiding you should be avoiding altar and uh, this uh, gold key pool if you don't have gold keys don't summon however when you start you need to do 40 summons to get a guaranteed ssi unit it's going to be a random unit and you'll get plenty of gold keys through the events like the lunch carnival and the uh, ghost party however if you're impatient you can buy some you'll still end up with a lot of diamonds as you can see i got 40,000, and i didn't spend on alta i only spent I believe 3,000 diamonds on Alta to get the free SSI unit. So depending on your personality, if you want to get this SSI unit as quickly as possible, spend diamonds to get it. But after that, after the first 40 pulls, don't spend any more here unless there is an event. Another resource you'll get are sign-in coins. You... Uh, buy things with them here in a sign-in store so what you should be doing here is you should either focus on Jedi if you want him for pvp or you should get Adelaide. she's quite useful in tower of the angels as well and another thing you want to do is get candle to free start to boost all your offensive units another important thing to do to boost your power from the start is roster people neglect it and they lose a lot of power on it as you uh, you can check out my video about roster how to quickly set it up and keep in mind you guys need want to get this updated every two three weeks so basically you'll need to follow the video every two three weeks to get your uh, roster updated if you guys want any more guiders you can find them in my playlist on my youtube channel uh, there's a guide for almost every aspect of the game obviously i'm not gonna talk about it here in this video but if you want to know how to do dragon invasion uh, conflicts planes and stuff like that make sure you follow my channel subscribe to it um, and wait for a part two if you are vip free and above um, i'll release it the next week 
Also, if you want uh, to speak to someone, if you want a live advice, you can always join my Discord. We have language channels as well. The, the, the link to the Discord is in the description of this uh, video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and tune in for part two next week. Thanks. Bye.